Hey guys, this is Marissa. I hope everyone's doing okay. So, let me give you or show you uh, the materials that I've used and explain to you how I did it. I don't want to show you per se because I have to set up my scrapbook room still. And once the scrapbook room is set up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit more films and showing you how to make cards or try to replicate cards that I've seen and try to want to do. You know, um, I want to think that I'm creative, but I truly am not because I'm more of a copycat person. I, I see something I like to do and I copy it. So anyway, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's where we are right now. So give me a few minutes and get I'll get the materials together so I can show you what I use uh, to make this card that you're seeing right now. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, you will notice, you know, you'll see some shakiness. And I'm, I'm going to try my best not to make the camera shake too much. But um, I don't have a tripod. Like I said, I wasn't, I'm not really set up yet. But I, I'm really excited to share this, the, how I made this card. Um, fortunately, <laughs> this is a, a happy accident. And uh, what I wanted to do at first was use another die cut. And um, unfortunately, it didn't work out. Um, I was going to do, hold on, let me reach for it. I was going to do a die cut underneath the, um, the butterfly here. And I was going to use this die cut. But it didn't work out because I just didn't like, you know, when I was putting it together, I didn't like how it looked. And then, like I said, this was a happy accident. I took this away and boom. So anyway, let me show you how, what, uh, what the materials that I used and basically describe to you how I did this. And so without further ado, the base of the card is actually made from... This, yes, Recollections, Michaels now have 100, um, 110 pound, and it's pretty substantial. It's like, it's like the Nina uh, cardstock, uh, and it's, it's saw, and actually it's very smooth, it's heavy, very substantial as I've said, and so anyway, that's the base that I used. The, the black cardstock that's right here is actually also a recollections this one's a 65 pound it's a black card stock so that's what I've used for the base and the uh, matting for the card the, I also use this black this black card stock to cut this die and also this die now I forgot to tell you I also use the same white card stock to emboss and for the stamp the stamped I, uh, um, material that I used. So as for the um, the uh, folder that I used, I used a pushing this on the side. I used a lifestyle crafts. Um, it's quick cuts called Tea Party, and this is the the die that I used. This one on top. So it came as a two folder, and like I said, I used the one on top. And it just it just so happened when I turned it around, when I turned the card around, I have that little flower that's coming out from the top there. And so that's where I positioned the butterfly, like it's going to that flower. So it, it, it's like I said, it's a very happy accident. So the uh, next thing that I used for the butterfly, to cut out the butterfly, is the um, my favorite things butterfly and they started the fancy fancy um, butterflies die cut uh, or I'm sorry dies and this is the die that I used and you can tell I still haven't cleaned the uh, die to thoroughly but this is a die that I used and then for the, um, the for the thank you stamp I used the thank you right here by paper smooches this uh this is actually called lovely thoughts again it's by paper smooches by the way going back to 
uh, the dye, it's actually called Fancy Butterfly. So any one of you guys who are interested in getting to find out how or or what that uh, what that uh, product is, and finally, the dye that I use to cut out the background black thing here for the label is actually the Sussex label. It's called Ornate Labels, and look at how many these are! I was so happy when I found this. I really, really liked it. And the one for the middle right here is I use the medium size. Uh, um, at, but I do like this they're very nice and perfect for card making so anyway this is the card I hope you like it